properties. Uh, let's get started. Uh, we have created a Flutter project over here and I have named it Flutter MCV API because we are going to learn API testing. Uh, then in our lib folder, there is our main dot dot. It is completely blank. Here I am going to create a void main function. Uh, this void main function is the function from which our application launches and we are going to we are going to call a run app function in our void main method and let us create our app over here so i'm going to create a stateless widget down over here and i'm going to name it as mcu api and i'm going to call that mcu api over here okay this is going to be a material app as we always start with material app in this and then we are going to return home let us create a home screen so in new dot file i'm going to create a home screen over here and that is going to be a stateful widget just let me name it as home screen and let us import material dot dot package let me increase the font okay main dot dot file and i'm going to pass home screen over here so whenever our app loads, the home screen is displayed at the start. Then let us come back to our home screen and I'm going to make scaffold. And let me just give a title. Just let me give a body center and text. Uh, like we do always to check our application if it's running perfectly fine. So child will be text and then I'm going to write it mcu over here let us play the application in our simulator okay so our xcode build is done and as we can see over here we have the mcu in the center as we have over here so i'm going to remove my body from here as we all have seen the ui now let us start by getting the mcu data so let me open postman and over you can see this is a nice api that i will be linking in the description from this API, if you will create a get request, then you will get the details of the MCU movies or the Marvel cinematic movies. So I have just hitting the send button again. This is creating a request and the data has been received. Okay, it is 200. That means the request is okay. If you will see, I'm coming down. Let me just take this. Okay, so we have this data over here, parameter, and we can see ID, title, release date. These are some of the data that we have got over here and in that data you can see we have some sub data called as id title release date box office duration overview cover url that the, that's the image trailer url the video trailer i think then directed by phase sega the what sega it is in then chronology post credit scenes how many credit scenes it has and then the imdb id so this is the data that we are getting so let us first create uh get data function okay so let me come down over here and i'm going to create a we need http function and to create that http function we need http package so let me go to my pub.dev which we all love a lot and where you can see we have the http package so i'm going to copy it from here and in our application, I'm coming to our pubspec.yaml file. Let me zoom it a bit also. And coming down to our Cupertin icons, I'm going to paste our HTTP pack. I've also added one placeholder image over here, if you can see images. So let me add that into our assets as well. So coming back to our assets, I'm going to uncomment them. Remove till here. And we have to check the intendation that we need so our intendation has been done with this we also need one more package uh, it's called as uh, let us take that also in our pubspec.yaml file under cupertino icons and http over here i'm going to hit pub get so that our we will get the packages that we want from our pub.dev okay so coming back to our uh, home screen uh, let us create a uh, get marvel movies function so I'm going to write void get Marvel movies and this M should be capital of here. Okay. And whenever we use HTTP, if you will see in our 
So now this is how we are going to create our HTTP request. So what we have to do is first we have to import our package as HTTP. So I'm going to copy this line and I'm going to import it on top over here. Okay, so we have done the first part. Then you can see we have to, we need a URL. So we have the URL and we have to parse that URL. So we are going to use URI.parse to pass the URL from our uh, string to a URI format. And we are going to create a response variable which will return a response when we use HTTP GET or POST function. Okay. So let us see. This is the URL that we need. So I'm going to copy this URL over here. Command C. And let us create a new variable on top. Marvel API URL is equal to it should be in strings. And this is our Marvel API URL coming down. Let us see what the document states about using the HTTP package has imported it. We have also taken the URL. Now let's parse the URL. Okay. So parsing the URL final URI is equal to URI dot parse and over here we need Marvel API. Okay. So we have passed this URL with this function over here. After that, let us create an HTTP get request. Okay. So, so let us start. It's HTTP dot get. Okay. So this is HTTP dot get and it needs a URI. So we're going to pass this URI inside over here. So this is the URI over here. We have passed it. And now we are going to, we are going to use the then callback of our HTTP get request function. Okay. And over here, I'm going to write this response over here. And instead of null, we are going to return a function, a callback function and catch error will be error. A normal error. And uh, if we have this error, what we will do is we are just going to debug print right now. So debug print and uh, let's just print this error over here so that we'll come to know what error we are facing okay and we will check our response code so is equal to 200 now why i'm checking this 200 because if we'll come back to postman over here you can see when we created a get request we got this status to be 200 which is okay so we have to make sure that we have this code first so if response dot status code is equal to 200 then what i will do is first i'm going to do is print response dot body we are going to print response dot body now let us call this function so to call this function i'm going to create an init function in our stateful widget class so init over here and uh, below super dot init state i'm going to call get marvel movies okay and also let me just create one more and one more print command over here i'll write function running okay now i'll hit the pause button because we have run pub dot get and we have also added some dependencies so let us uh, run the application from the start the function has been running function running that we have passed a debug print command over here and we can see we are also getting the data that we have printed over here into our console so we can see we have data and this will completely match with the postman data that we have seen so id title iron man release date box office duration and if you'll see over here the same id title release date box office duration overview cover url everything so now we are getting this data but you can see this data is in uh, json format okay it is in json format and we have to use this json format into the application so now we are going to parse this data okay so to make these things easier let us create model class so we are going to use and mvvm architecture for this application so model view view model architecture so in our lib folder i'm going to create one more directory and i'm going to add this name as uh, models models and i'm going to create a new class a new dart file and i will name this dart file as mcu 
models okay as mcu model because that's what we are going to create so now what is a model class so model class is a normal class in uh, this application where we are going to define all the variables and all the uh, data that we need of our mcu movies data and we are going to define that in our model class so that it will be easier for us to use the data to utilize the data so let's create class mcu models and let us start by actually addressing all this data from here okay so id title release date box office duration and there is one more easy method that we are going to do but first let me just show you how we have to make it so i will just start with a simple variable this id is int and this title is string so let us create these two variables like how we create a model class so i will say int id okay over here and i will also write a uh, string title uh, right to so ignore this uh, okay otherwise what we can do is just let's add a question mark here to remove that null safety errors now we have declared these two variables and whenever we declare these two variables we have to create a constructor of this class okay so let us create a constructor of this class at the bottom so mcu models and inside this i will write this dot title and this dot id so whenever we use this mcv dot models we'll have we'll have to pass in the data from this constructors okay so this is the constructor that we have over here we got the data from uh, json now we have to parse that data so that we can use that in our application so we are going to create uh, two functions inside our model class okay and uh, one function is from json so like when we get data we are going to convert that data from json and another function is to json so when we get a normal data we are going to convert that data to json format so uh, let us try mcu models dot models dot from json over here and this takes a parameter of map string dynamic okay which is a json and what we have mentioned over here so id is equal to json id and this is as int okay we have also created one more variable called as title which is a uh, json and over here it is title and it would be as string and again we are going to use this null safety obvious so what this does is this from function is like whatever data we get from this mcu model the data we get the response data that we got from our application that is in uh, json format so we are converting that data from json to the format that we are going to utilize okay and then there is one more uh, function that we are going to create so it is uh, it will it is it returns a map string dynamic okay and the function name is to json why because it helps us to convert whatever data that we are getting to our json format okay so it's to json final data is equal to map and over here we have string dynamic okay right now we have declared a data variable okay which is uh, blank right now and then just give data and we are going to hit the id parameter is equal to id this one is done same we'll do of our title is equal to title this is done and at the end we are going to return this map string so coming down over here return data this is how we create a model class in which we can use the data that we get from api so wherever in our home screen wherever if i need a model class i can just use like this so we can use the variables that we have created so like if i need to display the title of the application all i have to do is create an mcu model variable and i can just type uh, mcu models dot uh, or let's say I, I can do like this mm, movie is equal to mcu 
ओके वी कैन क्रिएट ए वेरिएबल कॉल्ड एज एम सी यू मॉडल्स मूवी इज इक्वल टू एम सी यू मॉडल्स एंड वी कैन एड लेट से टाइटल इज ट्रायल एंड आई डी ओवर हियर इज वन वी हैव गिवन दिस डेटा वी हैव पास दिस डेटा इन द कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इफ आई प्रिंट मूवी डॉट टाइटल लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स ओवर हियर and let me just comment this print function at the top command s i will press hot run this application as you can see over here see trial is printed the title is trial and if i print movie dot id then just let me hit this play button function is running id is 1 so what we have done here is we have created a modal class and we have defined some variables inside our modal class and created the constructor of our modal class which we will be using in our application this constructor help us to create an object of the modal class that we want and it takes this parameters now creating this modal class of all the data that we have here is tedious so for that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the first set okay the first set i am going to copy the json file and then i'm going to open my explorer over here we are going to search json to dart model and the first google search that we get we are going to open it and we are going to just paste our data okay just paste our data over here i'm going to name this as um, mcu models over here and generate dart and this has actually created everything for us okay so i'm going to copy this let me come back to our model class and command a command v okay so this is the model class that we have generated and i have copy pasted the model class in our mcu models file now we have created this mcu model class now let's see how to parse the data that we have from our http get request into our mcu model class and show it in our application so let me delete this thing okay we don't need this so we are getting the data over here so this is the get marvel movies function this is how the if this is how we are checking the response dot status code if it is 200 then only we want our function to run else right now i'm going to leave it a blank okay so now if status is 200 then we are going to create a variable called as variable response body is equal to response dot body data our response is holding that is called as response body so now what we have done is we have created a response body variable and we have assigned the value of response dot body to our variable so we are going to decode this so let's create one more variable final decoded data is equal to json decode so this is the function that we are going to use to decode our data let me just create this also final yeah this json decode function we are going to use to decode our data okay and i'm going to pass my response dot body that we have created over here so we are going to pass our body data and we are going to decode that and the data that we get after decoding our body will be saved in our decoded data variable okay what we are going to do is first we will just hit print decoded data so i will show you the difference between a decoded data and a non decoded data and over here i will just print uh response dot body maybe okay i'll just hit this play button okay so at the top you can see this data that we have this data is raw data a raw json data that we are getting from our response and this is the data after converting it or after decoding the data so you can see here the values are in string so we cannot navigate them okay we cannot navigate it but over here you can see the value is in map string and it is easier for us to navigate so now we have to store this data into a list why because we are going to show a list or let's say a grid of all the movies so we have to store this data into a list so let us create a blank list at the top that we are going to use it okay and uh, coming down over here we need list and this list will be called as mcu 
movies list it would be a blank list and let us give data type to our list so the data type would be mcu models and it's a blank list now what we are going to do all the data that we get from our response we are going to add that into our mcu movies list over here okay so coming down to our function where we have created a get marvel movies function in the response data we can see we have a variable called as we have a key called as data and inside the data we have all this value so first let's just see if we can print the data the value which has a key named data command s let me just hit the play button and now you can see we just have it from id okay so this data is gone so we have gone one level inside our uh, json response okay uh, we are going to run a for loop and we are going to add the data so now let us create a data variable over here or let's say length variable that we are going to need final marvel data is equal to decoded data and in this we are going to hit this and we are going to run a, a for loop variable i is equal to 0 i less than i is less than marvel data dot length okay okay let us do one thing let us use so we can use length parameter over here okay and we are going to iterate i plus plus now in this for loop what we are going to do is we are going to create an mcu object and then we are going to add that mcu object in our list okay so let us create our mcu object so final mcu movie okay is equal to mcu models dot from json and over here we are and over here we are going to pass the data that we are getting so the data would be decoded data data that we have over here or we can just do one thing marvel data and in this marvel data we are going to take this i parameter or the length would be the index would be i okay and we are going to typecast this as map string dynamic so it would be easier for us over here okay and then we are going to add this so we are going to add this mcu movie into our mcu movies list okay that we have created on top so mcu movies list dot add mcu movie okay and there is no error anywhere inside this and i'm going to just hit a set state to reload the state of the application okay before running i'll just create a print function to check the list of our mcu movies list dot length if the data is getting added into a list or not so i'll hit just the play button and also let me okay so we have 35 movies and if i'll just uh, remove this length and let's see if we just print the list what data we get okay so we are getting the instance of our mcu models and if i'll just go coming out of the for loop we are going to create a set state which will help us to reload the application that we have now uh, let us create the ui this is how we have create this is how we have done a http request that we needed in our application now let us start and create the ui that we want so in the ui we want a grid view for our application so let us create that first and i don't want any uh, app bar or anything so directly coming to our scaffold I am going to create a body and in body I will check if MCU movies list is not empty okay if this list is not empty then only we want grid view okay then only we want grid view grid view dot builder okay and if the list is empty then we want that 
and if this list is empty then what we want we want a container and the width of the container will be let's say 50 the height would be 50 uh, cent child center and in this center child would be circular progress indicator and whose color will be colors dot white 70 okay over here and i will tell you why we are doing this so that we can show a circular progress indicator when our data has been fetching from our http request that we have created okay so coming down to our grid builder so in a grid builder it needs some uh, parameters that we're going to pass first of all the items so item count would be mcu movies list dot length the number of items that we are going to need to show in our grid after that we are going to need a grid delegate so the grid delegate will be a sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis okay or you can choose max cross axis extent as well and it needs uh, some uh, parameters so it needs first main axis spacing cross axis spacing child aspect ratio okay so let us pass those data and uh, so we need mass cross axis extent uh, to be 200 then uh, child aspect ratio uh, should be 2 by 3 or 2 divided by 3 and cross axis spacing would be 10 and main axis spacing would also be 10 main axis spacing would also be 10 so now this error is gone apart from this we need an item builder okay so we are going to use item builder to which takes a build context context and int index i don't think anything it takes apart from that and we are going to uh, return right now a card for checking this card will have a child and that child will be network image and this image will take url okay and this image will take a it needs see add argument add required argument image url so let's start image url and we have to pass the image url so mcu movies list index and we are going to need cover url to string because we need the string value of it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just hit the play button to just make sure that we are getting all the images that we at least we need so playing the application and you can see over here the data has been fetched and we are getting all the values we are getting all the data that we want and at some places uh, what we're going to do is we are just going to add a placeholder as well over here so placeholder will be uh, so placeholder means an image that would be displayed before the actual image is loaded okay so it takes uh, context and url and we are just going to return an image dot asset and in string we have created this images folder over here and we are going to use that so over here images uh, slash placeholder dot png okay because we have a png image just let me hit this play button again and you can see over here that we have this pngs over here and at some places we have this value to be null so we are not able to fetch this value so let us pass that null safety also so what i'm going to do is i am going to copy this much so before passing a child if the value is not equal to null then we want networked image cache and if it is null then we just want this uh, we'll just show the placeholder image again okay so we'll just show this placeholder image again 
command s and it's done just let us play the application from start okay and now we don't have any errors in the bottom okay no errors so let us just give a black background to this and what i'll do is i will remove the card from here and instead of card i will pass a clip r rect and i will give radius border radius border radius dot circular should be 20 command s you can see yes now we have this 20 border radius okay okay so we have used this clip r rect to give a nice uh, border radius for this images that we want and let us create a scaffold background color colors dot black colors dot black and find colors dot black command s and we have this black color over here on top but instead of that uh, it's too too black what i'll do is i'll use gray with a darker shade so gray and over here we want 900 okay with a darker shade 900 and i'm going to hit command s right now and you can see this is over here and let me just wrap this with okay i don't know what the problem is but then i will solve it over here so this is the center widget it has child and i'm going to okay it's done now let me hit the play button and you can see our loading is at the center and the data is being loaded and we can scroll all the data that we need uh, the images is fetched if you want we can also add title if you if you want instead of this we can just now you just have to hit all the properties like instead of cover url you can use uh, title then instead of uh, you can you can use IDs. You can create a list also. For example, now um, let me comment this. And okay, let us again take a card. And in this card, the child would be text and what text that we want to use is we are going to use the mcu index dot title okay to string let me just uh okay what error do we have over here okay yeah we need a colon a semicolon now we are returning the title okay now we're writing the title now if you wrap this with a column okay and instead of child you create children and i can also take one more text and i can write i can write mcu movies list then index and let's say over to string and if i hit command Yes, we also have the ID. So because of this, because of our model class, it is it was very easier for us to use the parameters that we need in our application. So this is how we do a HTTP request in the application. And let us come back over here. Command S. Yes. So this is how we 
So this is how we do a HTTP API request that we need in our application. Uh, you can also add features like on tap, taking it to the next screen and showing all the details that you have taken from our response. I hope you guys like the video. So please like and hit the subscribe button. So if you have, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you are new, do subscribe, subscribe, do subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. If you have some doubts or if you want some topics or if you want me to cover some topics, just comment them down. And as soon as I get time, I would be creating videos on those topics as well. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you. Keep fluttering. Enjoy. Bye-bye.